In this video, we'll look at permutations, and in particular, we'll look at the rule of sum. So the question is, a security code has either five or six digits. How many possible codes are there? Well, for our answer, we have two cases. Case one, it's a five digit code. And case two, it's a six digit code. So for case one, if it's five digits, and we can assume you can reuse digits in a security code, why couldn't you hit the same number twice? You could draw little boxes or little blanks if you want, and you don't have to, it just helps if it's easier more visually. I have five digit code here. How many digits are there? Well, there's 10 digits. 0 to 9 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 10 choices here, 10 choices here, 10 choices here, 10, choice, 10 choices 5 times. So the total number of ways you can make a 5 digit code is just 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 or 10 to the power of 5. You can use a calculator or you can do in your head. That's 100,000. Case number two is a six digit code. Same sort of strategy with blanks or boxes. You don't have to use it, but if you do, it just sort of helps visualize 10 choices for the six digit first number, 10 choices for the six digit second number, 10 choices for each of the six digits. The total number of ways, oh, I better separate these with some sort of subscript. This was the ways for case one. Here's the ways for case two. And there are 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 to the power of six ways to choose a six digit code, which of course is a million. And so the rule of sum just says you add these two cases together. You either have a five digit code or you have a six digit code. Your total number of possibilities is of course the sum. And that's what rule of sum is about, is adding your cases together you have a hundred thousand five digit codes and you have a million make sure you get the right number of zeros six digit codes which of course is one million one hundred thousand when added together it's a word problem so we need a word answer therefore there are one million one hundred thousand possible codes and so we've done a permutation problem using the rule of sum. We created two separate cases based on the word problem that was given to us and then added those two cases together.